my name is Kurt Olds, and I'm playing Henry Higgins in My Fair Lady with the Ashland Opera and having a great time. It's just been wonderful here in Charlottesville. Henry Higgins fits perfectly into what I've been doing with the Gilbert and Sullivan works that I've been working on, those roles that speak a great deal and incorporate that into the, the singing as well. This production is departing from what one would normally see in a My Fair Lady. Daniel wanted uh, to have Henry Higgins be a bohemian, a sort of Oscar Wilde-ish character. It's, it's very unique production uh, with this household that Henry Higgins has with creativity and he's painting and he's reading and dressing people up in costumes and finds this project in Eliza that he wants to bring into that household and a very close friend in Pickering that's willing to pay for it and, and jump on board. So from that, uh, it's, it's a different story. It's the same material, but it's really interesting how we, especially with the character of Henry Higgins, found a brand new version of him. And in the end, you know, when we get to uh, I've Grown Accustomed to Her Face, it's, it's almost a, a mental breakdown of sorts that we get that character to. Um, and it's, it's refreshing, it's, it's very nice. When I arrived for my costume fitting, I saw these very garish costumes, really profoundly different. And these were lavish, I mean, just beautiful costumes. The Ascot costume is, you know, this, what, what I've called Dijon in the show, um, this mustard colored, very saturated colors and, and big short shirts that, uh, you know, almost have a Hamlet feel to them. And it, they're, they're striking. You know, um, I have a kimono on in a couple scenes and the way that drapes and swirls and just creates that, you know, very eccentric Henry Higgins. Uh, I find that incredibly fun to play with. I do look forward to getting out on stage, but I do get nervous. I think you have to get nervous. It's part of it. it. There's good nervous and there's bad. But if I've done my homework and I've been through rehearsal and I'm raring to go, then no, you, you get nervous with the butterflies and then you can launch onto the stage and do what you need to do and enjoy it to the fullest. It's an amazing experience to hear the human voice unplugged and just fresh. Uh, this particular show, My Fair Lady, has a very thick orchestration. There's a lot of brass. It's, it's hard to keep the balance between orchestra and singer, but it's wonderful to sit in a room, and I think any audience that gets that opportunity is, you know, it's a, it's a big, big deal, and uh, I, hope, I hope they enjoy it. The audience response is uh, wonderful, and it, it changes your performance as they take the ride with you. And, you know, M My Fair Lady's not a, a short musical. It, it has a long through line, and it's wonderful as we approach those final moments in the show, and you feel the audience is just riveted, you know, and all that. It's wonderful to see those people that, that choose to participate and sit forward, and it's that connection through this piece is just really, really rewarding, much more so than most shows. Thank you.